Hello, I've got this Mammillaria pondii, also known as, you can see, it's other name on the screen. And there are quite a few offsets, so it's getting a bit too tight in the pot, so it's high time to repot it. But look at those spines, they are long and the tips are, resemble hooks. So it will be quite a tricky task. So in this video, I will show you my method. So you need gloves, also some piece of paper. Here I've got um, magaz a little magazine, but I think a softer paper, like from just a normal newspaper would be even better. Or you can use a bubble wrap. And why? It is to protect spines from getting damaged because they may get broken or detached and also to protect yourself because have a look I got hooked as you can see so I better I prefer when the gloves uh, rather than my skin is um, pierced by those nasty hooks so here I also check the roots what they look like, if they are healthy and if there are no nasties hiding there, which I'm happy to say, all is fine. So using a skewer, I will get rid of old potting mix from around roots as much as I can, but because it was all fine uh, and it's it was my old potting mix, so I know there's not uh, there wasn't any peat and it was already uh, well draining and again let's use some paper to put it into the pot as you could see it went a bit skewed so i'm trying to make it straight so my potting mix is uh, more or less equal parts of john ins number two pumice perlite grit lava rock a bit of charcoal and also I added zeolite which is a natural mineral uh, which improves the soil structure and helps develop healthy root system. So I'm patting up the pot so soil will go into all nooks and crannies and using a tool I, I'm also making sure that there are no gaps in soil. And zeolite is good as well as the top dressing. So it not only looks pretty, but it's kind of like a natural barrier against any pests. So I'm interested and curious what methods do you use when reporting really prickly? cacti so let me know in the comments so the last thing to do is just to add a label with the name of the cactus and that will be all this cactus hasn't flowered for me yet so i'm hoping it will next season and as usual, I'm not going to water this plant for at least a week. And why? You will find out from my other previous video. And also I made a video about the most beautiful spiny cacti in my collection. So the link will be above and down below. So here is the hero of our video of today. I hope you enjoyed it so thank you for all the likes subscriptions and comments and I will see you next time bye